Welcome to the Raised with Jesus podcast, 10 minutes every day where the life of Jesus meets yours. You've got your Sunday preview for February 10th, 2019, the fifth Sunday after Epiphany. The season of Epiphany is the time when Christ reveals his glory, and today we see that Christ reveals his glory in his ability as the anointed Son of God to call disciples to follow him and to commission them as his messengers. In calling the disciples to be full-time fishers of men, Jesus reveals his power as the Lord's anointed. What a beautiful picture of future fishing for these maturing disciples. For the miracle of this abundant catch of fish would only be surpassed by the fishing for souls to which they were called. What a privilege for us to answer the same call, to answer and to lay our hands on the net of the gospel and be fishers of men together. Together. That is, we share this same ministry together. There is one ministry, the ministry of the word. The pastor administers that ministry publicly on behalf of those who called him. And each of us Christians also administers this ministry privately in using opportunities to speak with other Christians and to support the ministry that we accomplish together. And so in today's, especially in today's sermon, we'll ask the question, and this is maybe a little bit more pointed, are we fallen followers? As we ask the overall question, where in the world is God? We see that, that this God, this Jesus Christ, makes himself known by commissioning people to be his followers and to be his messengers on his behalf. Jesus called fishermen to leave their nets and followed him. And we might think that it would be nice to abandon our family schedules, our work requirements, or routine obligations to do some exciting mission work for our Lord. Yet for most of us, Jesus calls us to follow him in the faithful vocations of a working dad or a stay-at-home mom, a carpenter, an electrician, office manager. God calls us to faithful service, and in that service, we live and share our faith wherever we are and whatever we do. Oh, of course, as followers of Jesus, we recognize that Christianity is not the mere knowledge of facts. <laughs> knowledge itself can be dangerous. Just check out the book of James and the fact that the demons know these facts about God forward and backward and they shudder in terror. The worst place to be is to have a thorough knowledge of the historical facts and their theological import and deny that application in my own life. The worst place is to have heard the call of Jesus and followed enough to learn him and know him and then shrug him off as though divine savior is for just a season of life or a particular need of my own life that I don't have anymore or that I can fulfill elsewhere. So as followers of Jesus who have been called to follow him, we pay attention to his words and to his works, and we follow him as earnestly as we can in whatever our vocation may be. Luke 5, verses 1 through 11. One time, while the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there along the lake shore. The fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus got into one of the boats, which belonged to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. He sat down and began teaching the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered him, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were about to tear apart. They signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, because I am a sinful man, Lord. For Peter and all those with him were amazed at the number of fish they had caught, and so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Have no fear. From now on you will be catching people. After they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. This is the word of our God. Of course, we have worship this Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at 2250 South Hollandsylvania Road in Maumee, Ohio. You can also tune in via YouTube. Just search for Resurrection Maumee. 
check out our our website, raisedwithjesus.com or resurrectionmommy.com. It'll take you to the same place, and you can find the link there. God bless your day.